Let's now take a small detour and look at horizontal bounding boxes and how they use for the task of object detection. If we talk about their annotations, they are done in two types of methods. One is the corner method that uses the corner coordinates of the bounding box to specify it. The other is the center width and height method, which uses the center coordinates, the width and the height to specify the bounding box. Talking about the accuracy metric for the task of object detection, it is called the average precision or mean average precision. The average precision for a class would be the area under the precision and recall curve for that particular class. And if we talk about mean average precision, it's the mean of all the pre average precisions for all the classes in the data set. So the average precision depends upon precision and recall. And this in turn depends upon how much of your ground truth bounding box is overlapping with your prediction bounding box. This is in turn called the IOU, which we'll be seeing subsequently. So if we want our predicted bounding box to overlap with the ground truth bounding box, we need to minimize this particular distance in case we are using the corner method to specify the bounding box. So how is this done is there is one family of bounding box regression laws called the L1, L2 and smooth L1 laws and uh, they are pretty much similar. So the L1 loss would use the absolute value of the difference between these two coordinates to specify the loss. The L2 loss would be using the square of the difference between these two coordinates whereas the smooth L1 loss or Huber loss uh, this would be a combination of both the L1 loss and the L2 loss. So if the difference between the two coordinates is less than equal to some value delta, it would behave like an L2 loss. Otherwise, it would behave like an L1 loss. So we had talked about IOU before. So IOU would be the area of overlap between your ground truth bounding box and the predicted bounding box. That is this area divided by the area of their union. That is this area. Why do I specify the IU now is because if we talk about the L1, L2 and Huber loss that we just saw, we find that there is no correlation between minimizing these losses and maximizing the IOU, which in turn is responsible for giving us a good MAP. This can be seen from the figure on top. If the green is the ground truth box, all the points on this circle would have the same L1, L2 or Hooper loss. But we see across all these three cases that although the L1, L2 Hooper loss would be the same, IOU loss is not the same, which means that there is no correlation between them. So researchers thought about using why not use the IOU for specifying the loss. This IOU loss was specified as 1 minus IOU. But what we now find is that for non-overlapping cases, the IOU would always be zero irrespective of the location of the two boxes and therefore there would be no gradient and no learning taking place. Thus to improve upon the IOU loss, various variants have been proposed. The first one being GIOU or generalized IOU. The GIOU basically what it does is it takes the previous IOU loss and adds another term. This term corresponds to this area. So therefore, it's trying to minimize this area in order to bring the predicted box closer to the ground truth box. An improvement over GIOU was DIOU or distance IOU, which replaces this term with this term. And this term corresponds to minimizing the distance between the center point of the two boxes. A further improvement over DIOU was the complete IOU or CIOU which takes the DIOU loss and adds another term, which basically is this equation here and is aiming at making the aspect ratios of both the ground truth bounding box and the predicted bounding box the same. Finally, if we have a look at this graph here, we see that as the iterations increase, the distance IOU and complete IOU give a much faster optimization and the loss improves uh, what you call reduces much much faster as compared to GIOU or the IOU. If you want a more in-depth explanation on these losses, you can check out my previous video on the same. I would place the link in the description below.